Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you remember the first powerful encounter you had with God? I, I love to ask people that question. When did you first know that God was real and he was working in your life? Uh, what was your dramatic experience with God? So uh, uh, I'd love for you to answer that, not to me, but uh, for yourself and maybe with some of your friends to talk about your experiences with God. Because in my years of ministry, People have shared many accounts and many stories of their own experiences, dramatic experiences, miraculous experiences with God in some way, shape, or form. And, and I love hearing about those, but uh, I respond pretty much the same way when people tell me about how God revealed himself to them. I say, that's great, that's awesome, that is exciting. Now, what does God want you to do with that? And, and I can honestly tell you, I've left some people dumbfounded because they didn't know what God wanted them to do with that. They just had a cool experience with God. And can I just tell you that's not what we find in Scripture? You see, in Scripture, when God reveals himself to people, he usually has a job for them. He has a task for them, something that he wants them to do specifically for him, something that he wants them to change or to accomplish or to say for him. So uh, there's, there's a task. And, and today we're looking at Moses and the burning bush on his journey to freedom, on the Israelites' journey to freedom, of course, God reveals himself to Moses. Yesterday, you heard about the beginning of that. This is the task part of it. Moses uh, heard from God. He fell down. And then it says, Then the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. There's a lot of ites there, huh? And this is what he says, And now behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come, Moses, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. God revealed himself to Moses in a dramatic way. Uh, look, more dramatic than anything you or I have experienced. I guarantee you that. And then he says, I got a job for you. I want you to go and set my people free. Lead them to freedom. So realize this. If you truly want freedom in your life, spiritual freedom in Jesus, then you got to seek God. I know God interrupted Moses, but Moses was a, a, a people of God and he was, you know, praying all the time out there in the desert. He had to be. And, and, but you and I, we got to seek God. There's got to be a part in, of us that says, I want to know Christ. I want to know the, the power of his resurrection. I want to know the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings. I want to be obedient to him. So if you're seeking God, God's going to reveal himself to you. So, you know, join us for worship, live or online. Uh, read your Bible. Join a life group. Talk about uh, your experiences and how God's met you. Pray, intentionally pray, not just little short prayers, but spend time listening to God. And then when God reveals himself to you, obey. Do what he says. Say yes. Repent. Uh, you know, that, that's part of this whole thing. Uh, you know, because God's going to ask you to do something that you don't want to do. Uh, it's not going to be your first choice. Uh, it may be to give up a habit that you really are kind of comfortable with. It may be to go love somebody that you don't want to love or to forgive somebody that's wronged you. Uh, pretty sure it's going to be all of the above. Uh, but you got to obey. And, and it starts with seeking God, but when you seek God, decide in advance, whatever he tells me, I'm going to do. Um, all the people in Scripture that God revealed himself to, the stories we have, they obeyed. They didn't always want to. We'll talk about that later, but but they obeyed, and God worked in their lives. Uh, now, uh, again, that obedience may be the last thing you want to do, but God will work through it, and he'll meet you in it. And I would tell you more of the story, but that's where it's going to pick up tomorrow. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for our word for the day, and I'm praying that God will reveal himself to you and that you'll say yes to whatever he asks you to do. God bless Calvary.